Hey everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to do some cool things. The first thing we're going to do is called splitting at points and it's really cool and I think you guys will find it super handy. So the first thing I want to do is just bring in a design. Now they provide you with a design library and you can select, you know, different things. We're, we're, I'm just going to go to design library and we might as well stick with floral because it's pretty. I'm going to pick this one um, because it's going to work perfectly for what I want to show you guys. So to get it onto your workspace so we can use it, you just left click and hold and slide it down. Now I'm not going to resize anything for now because I want it to to look exactly like this and you do have to be careful resizing but so far we've got a green and we've got a red so if you wanted to change this bottom part to a different color how would you do it because that's separate from that and it's all in one it, it would be how would you do it hmm well let's look at it in sorry let's look at it in uh, it's not solid view. Let's do it. Realistic view. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we can see that there's satin stitches. But what I see right here is a joining stitch. And this is what's going to join. This is where this part is going to join to this part. Now you can see here by this little bump here, this is where this one, this one here ends, and this is where it attaches to the other one. So you could separate that from that, but it's going to be a little fiddlier. Let's start with something easy. Also, I'd like to point out it's better to check in the realistic view because now I see there's satin stitches and I would watch very carefully making this bigger because satin stitches can only go so far. But for now, we're gonna leave it and we're gonna concentrate on here. So let's put that back into the stitch view uh, so we can see our nodes. Now, the first thing we wanna do is go into node mode or select point up here to the left. And actually, before we do that, I wanna zoom in a little bit more. There, now I can see it a little bit better. So go to the select tool. Now you can see it's between here and it's between here. So let's try selecting this node. Uh, sorry, you have to click on it first and then all the nodes get selected. And then this one here. Now, if you can't see it well enough, zoom right in again. And just remember, there's a lot of nodes showing. So I'm going to select this one and you just want to select one. I can tell that it's selected because it the node is black now. Now I want you to right click and we have something that's called split at point. You can delete as well, but we want to split at point. It has a little knife and it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's going to split it at the point. And look, it did, except for it's not quite right. If you look at it already, you can see even from over here in the sewing order, we've got the connection stitches and the running stitches, and that's gonna go in red, and if we're changing this, that, that won't look right. It's gonna be underneath, and it'll be just a waste of time. So we have two options here. Oh, the other thing I noticed is that this part isn't included, and I kinda want it to be. But we still have two options. You can go through, and delete all of the extra running stitches, which you can see where they are over here, or we can try it again with a different point. So let's go to our undo and undo that. Let's pick the other connecting point and right click and split at point. Well, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? That looks way better. Now the whole thing is selected, which is what I want now. Let's go back to our pointing tool, our selection tool, our pointer. And now this is separate from this. How cool is that? How cool is that? That's how easy it is to do. If you pick the wrong one, you might make a mess. Just undo it. It's easy. It's absolutely easy. So why don't we just for now change the color on that to something, you know, completely different. How about purple, a bluish purple? And I just want to go check my realistic view. 
See, it looks fantastic. I mean, obviously that's not gonna work very well, but it's how you split it. Now, the only real mistake I see here is that we have a running stitch. Now, this is the connector stitch from before that would connect this part to that part. Now we do want to leave, can you see the green one in here? We want to leave that one underneath. That one is a connector stitch connecting the two leaves. So you do not have a trim between it. It walks up and through the join and down to the next leaf. But we don't need the red one because it's going from here to here to here and that's not gonna work. So let's do option number two here. Let's. Uh, I might zoom in a little bit more for that. I'm thinking this might be kind of, nah, let's try it like this. I don't want to keep zooming in and out. It's going to be so much easier to delete the points that we don't want. And it's probably a good idea to start at the bottom end and delete it. Now, there's probably going to be a lot of stitches, but I'm starting to make headway here. So make sure you have the right one selected and then do a little cleanup. So it wouldn't be the end of the world if you left the red through, but it's kind of, it might mess it up. Um, I prefer to keep things neat and tidy. So if you have to change stuff, this is how to do it. This wasn't too bad, it's a little tedious. You can multiple select them, but I'm having a bit of a hard time selecting the ones that I want. So I'm just doing them one at a time. It doesn't take long. If you had a pen and tablet, this would be fantastic. And now look at that. Now we have three proper parts that we want and we can continue to change this over to different colors. We can change this to a different color and the leaves are separate. So I've taken a design, a PES design, that is in two parts because of the colors and split it into three parts so I can change my colors. And that's how it's done here inside PE Design 10. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video to let me know that you want more videos just like this. Thanks everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, so like, why was there a dog walking around? Can we not settle down? Thanks.